Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about laboratory techniques, how to prepare soft agar solution and we are going to answer two questions. Question A, the agar stock solution has a concentration of 12% agar, that is 12 grams agar dissolved in water to a final volume of 100 milliliter solution and the nutrient stock solution contains twice the amount of all nutrients and it is referred to as 2x nutrient solution. Sterile water is also available. What is the ratio in which the agar stock solution, the 2x nutrient solution and water should be mixed in order to obtain final concentration of 3% agar and 1x of the nutrients. Cell cloning is commonly performed in a jello-like semi-solid support structure made with solution of substance called agar, which is allowed to set just like jello. The support structure also contains a nutrient solution to provide nourishment for the cells, while the agar solution needs to be sterilized by the heating to a higher temperature autoclaving to render it sterile. The nutrients in the nutrient solution will be destroyed upon autoclaving. Therefore, the agar solution is commonly prepared at a higher concentration in water, which we call agar stock solution, and mixed with a nutrient solution that contains the nutrients at higher concentration than we need, which we also call nutrient stock solution. When the two solutions are mixed together and diluted, with the sterile water, the agar and nutrients are both diluted sufficiently to obtain the right concentration of each. Now let's read our problem again. We have 100 milliliters of 12% agar stock solution. So let this test tube would represent this 12%, 12% agar solution. And this is 100 milliliters test tube. And this test tube, which I'm going to use different color, is empty. In order to bring 12% to 3%, that means we have to divide this number by 4. 100 milliliters divided by 4 is going to be 25 milliliters. So we have to move 25 milliliters in this test tube or one quarter again if we divide to four parts uh, each part is going to be 25 milliliters so we moved one quarter from this test tube which represent 25 milliliters in this empty test tube so 25 milliliters now let's take a look we also have 2x nutrient solution so let me use different color nutrient solution is 2x and this test tube would represent this nutrient solution and again it is 100 milliliters of 2x concentration in order to get 1x we have to take half of this test tube and add in this test tube so let's add one half so this one half go here now we have how many milliliters here we have 25 milliliters of three percent uh, sorry of 12 percent agarose solution but in the final 100 milliliters it's going to be one quarter of what we have here so it's going to be three percent agarose uh, solution and we have 50 percent or 50 milliliters of the nutrient solution which we took from this test tube and it's going to be 50 milliliters and that means that another one quarter so 50 plus 25 is going to be 75 and we need 100 milliliters that means that another 25 milliliters is going to be a water so 25 milliliters now we have a ratio of 25 milliliters of the water to 50 milliliters 
of the nutrient solution to 25 milliliters of the uh, agar solution. We also can simplify this ratio to 1 to 2 to 1. So we now can say 25 to 50 to 25 is the same as 1 part to 2 parts to 1 part. So far we have an answer to the first question. Now second question. What volume of 2x nutrient solution and sterile water should be added to 50 milliliters of the 12% agar stock solution to obtain the correct final concentration of the agar and nutrient. Again, correct final concentration have to be 3% agar, 1x of the nutrients. One more time, in our ratio, this part stands for the water content, this stand for the nutrient solution and this part stand for the agar solution. Let me underline this 50 milliliters. So we have to put 50 milliliters here. If we have 50 milliliters of the agar stock solution, which represented in this ratio as one part, we have to take two parts of the 2x nutrient solution. So let me underline it also. And that means we have to take 100 milliliters. And if we have 100 milliliters of the nutrient stock solution, we have to take half of this number as a water because we have ratio 2 to 1. So if we have 100 here, that means that we have to take 50 milliliters of the water. So this is going to be our final answer to the question B. We have to take one part of water to two parts of the nutrient stock solution to one part of the agar solution or 50 milliliters to 100 milliliters to 50 milliliters. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.